They call it the Vigorous Dragon, a name that suggests fury, strength, and speed, all coiled in a single machine. But behind the poetic title lies something far more strategic, something that has quietly evolved into one of the most formidable fourth-generation fighters in the skies today. This is the Chengdu J-10C, and while much of the world looked westward, China built a dragon that flies faster, hits harder, and thinks smarter than most ever expected. Born in secrecy and sharpened by necessity, the J-10C is the latest evolution of a program that started over three decades ago. Back then, China needed an answer, a homegrown answer, to foreign air power dominance. They wanted something that could defend their skies, dominate a dogfight, and adapt to a future they saw coming before most. What they built was sleek, delta-winged, canard-controlled, a fighter that shares DNA with European elegance and Eastern ambition. But the J-10C? That's not just another Delta Canard jet. This is a combat-refined predator with systems that rival, and in some cases, exceed anything in its class. Under its skin beats a modernized, state-of-the-art heart, a Chinese-built WS-10B turbofan engine, replacing older Russian power plants with a thrust vector China can now call its own. The result? More trust, more independence, and more performance? Top speed, Mach 2.2. Range, over 1,800 kilometers without refueling. And with aerial refueling, its reach is only limited by its mission. But speed and range alone don't win battles. What makes the J-10C deadly is what it sees and how quickly it reacts. At the front, the nose houses a cutting edge AESA radar, active electronically scanned array, giving it superior tracking, jamming resistance, and multi-target engagement. This radar can lock onto multiple airborne targets while simultaneously scanning the battlefield below. Air to air, air to ground, electronic warfare, all at once, all without being seen. That's stealth, it doesn't come from shape alone. The J-10C incorporates reduced radar cross-section materials, including ram coatings and signature shaping around its inlets and control surfaces. No, it's not an F-22. It's not trying to be. It's a 4.5 gen multi-role jet that can slip into contested airspace, find its target, and erase it before most adversaries ever know it's there. Its weapons load is nothing short of versatile and lethal. It carries the PL-10 infrared guided missile, a helmet cued dogfight killer with high off boresight capability. For long range duels, it deploys the PL-15, China's pride, an active radar guided missile that outranges most Western equivalents. Add to that laser-guided bombs, anti-radiation missiles, anti-ship loadouts, and electronic jamming pods. And what you get is not just a fighter, but an airborne Swiss army knife, ready to strike in any direction, in any weather, against any threat. Inside the cockpit, the pilot doesn't fly alone. A digital glass cockpit, modern HOTUS controls, and AI-assisted target fusion make sure that human and machine work as one voice command inputs, threat prioritization, augmented situational awareness. The J-10C is designed not just to fly, but to outthink its enemy, and it's not flying solo. The J-10C is networked, connected via data link to airborne early warning systems, other fighters, and ground control, forming a web of shared intelligence and synchronized tactics. Where older jets operated as individuals, this one fights as a node in a battlefield brain. Every sensor, every weapon, every flight path optimized in real time, and now its wings are spreading beyond China. Pakistan has adopted the J-10C into its frontline force, calling it a game changer against adversaries with older, less advanced fleets. Exercises show it pushing the limits of air combat, matching, and in some cases, outpacing regional threats that once had the edge. So what is the J-10C really? A dogfighter? Yes, a striker? Absolutely. A symbol? Without question. But more than that, it's proof. Proof that China's aerospace ambitions are not just theoretical. They're flying, fast, far, and forward-thinking. The world may have underestimated the dragon, but now, the dragon is airborne, and it's vigorous. This was Acer Rider, where machines meet myth and flight becomes fury. Subscribe for more deep dives, and as always, stay sharp, stay curious, and keep your eyes on the skies, because the next generation of air power might not be coming. It's already here.